All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We are back on the Truth Is channel. Uh, this is why Hollywood can't get rid of Cat Williams. This brother, some, I, I seen some video where somebody said Cat Williams started all this mess <laughs> in 2024. He said the truth was going to come out. And boy, it just has been, I told y'all, a ripple effect. It's like a tire going downhill. Hey, the cat's out the bag. And with this whole Drake thing and the fact that Ken, Kendrick Lamar mentioned Drake, I mean, mentioned Cat Williams too, like saying Cat Williams said to let your truths out. I'm excited for this. We know we about to take a deep dive. So appreciate y'all. Shout out to all the good humans. We ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. At the top of the year, Cat Williams shocked the internet when he gave one of the most viral and explosive interviews ever. His interview with Shannon Sharp went on to do over 68 million views on YouTube alone, not counting what the interview did on other platforms. Those who saw the interview witnessed an unhinged Cat Williams dropping what seemed to be nothing but truth bombs. The world was caught off guard as they didn't know why Cat Williams was going so hard on so many people. By the end of that interview, it was obvious Cat made a lot of people mad. They were so mad that some people started to think they wanted Cat Williams out of the picture. Even if they wanted to get rid of Cat, and trust me they do, they can't. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Here we go. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The Truth Is, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the reason Hollywood can't get rid of Cat Williams. Let's get right into it. One thing is for certain, Cat Williams made history with his Shannon Sharp interview. Over 68 million people heard Cat expose some of the biggest names in the industry. He rubbed many people the wrong way, and we saw many of those that Cat Williams called out respond to his claims. Ludacris, who Cat Williams said was a part of the Illuminati and alleged he sold his soul for the Fast and the Furious movies, responded to Cat in a freestyle laughing off his claims. Some of the comedians Cat called out, like Kevin Hart, seemed to also deny his claims as well. Even Ice Cube came out basically stating that Cat was lying about his Friday claims. It was clear that the industry was on the defense about Cat's claims, as he made a lot of people mad, and they felt they needed to respond. Cat's main point was that those celebrities in the industry had sold their souls to get where they were, something that he claims he refused to do, and it's the reason Hollywood shunned him, and he never became a comedy star like Kevin Hart. While Cat Williams still had a successful career in comedy, he wasn't allowed to cross over to the heights of Kevin Hart because he didn't play the game like he did. Now, you may be asking if Cat Williams is truly exposing the industry, why haven't the elite tried to silence him like they've done to many others? Yeah, well, go. it's all because Cat Williams has prepared himself for war with the industry. I'll explain what I mean by this in a bit. In order to understand why the industry hates Cat Williams, we have to go back to the beginning of his career oh. in the show business. Cat Williams was on course to being a massive Hollywood comedy star. He was acting in TV shows and was getting roles in many movies. His performance performance in the movie Friday after the next was considered by many to be hilarious. This made Cat a fan favorite, and his presence only grew larger after his comedy stand-up show. People loved how uncut Cat was, and how he was willing to say anything to get a laugh, even saying things he wasn't supposed to say. Mm -hmm. While this is what made Cat so great to his fans, this would also end up being the very same thing to cause him his industry troubles. Magic While Cat was showing promise, all of that stopped the moment he made the higher-ups upset at him, and it was all due to his first comedy special. By 2006, Cat Williams was doing so good in Hollywood that the higher-ups decided to give him his own TV stand-up special. This was Cat Williams' moment to shine and show the world just how funny he truly was. And he did just that, but he did it by exposing Hollywood's secret parties. During his stand-up show, Cat Williams got a little out of hand for the industry's liking. And not long after the special, Cat Williams was paying for it. During his stand-up, Cat Williams starts telling a joke about what happened to him at an industry party. He claims in the joke that he went to this Hollywood party to have some fun. While there, he realized that the type of fun those at the party were having wasn't his kind of fun. Cat claims that he went room to room opening doors and saw things he wasn't supposed to see. What he claims he saw was men hooking up with other men in groups during this party. It's a separate party in little rooms. I ain't been famous that guy long. I'm excited that I'm going to be at the mansion party. You be looking at all the rooms and you round and look in the wrong room and sh Mm -hmm. Look at him, look at him. Come here. Is that his kisser? Is one of his professor Opie? 
As you heard for yourself, Cat Williams said this hilarious joke that the crowd loved so much, but there were some people that didn't like these jokes, the elite in the industry, who weren't at all feeling Cat exposing what happens at their private industry parties. This is when Cat's problems all began, as things would only progressively get worse. Jaguar Wright actually reveals some behind the scenes information on this. I just did a video on Jaguar Wright. Yep. If you haven't seen it yet, seen you should that. definitely check it out after this one as it explains why she is trying to tear the industry down. In a recent interview, she told the world that the industry has been after Cat Williams since the 2000s, claiming that his problems with the industry elite got really bad when he refused to participate in a humiliation ritual being done on Flavor Flav. Jaguar claims that this was the final straw for the Hollywood elite when it came to Cat. Let's, let's, let's take it there then. Um, I have to ask you, uh, Cat Williams, he recently pulled oh, a Jaguar right and was just <laughs> doing a lot of truth telling. Wanna know what's interesting? Go ahead. Oh. It's Cat Williams that taught me how Jaguar right. Oh, wow, okay. What was it about him that you, you kind of say, ooh? 10, 10. <laughs> he was my 30th birthday present, almost 17 years ago. I'll never forget when he walked into the club and I was sitting at my table, it's my birthday party, and Special Ed brought him. And um, me and Ed were celebrating and Kat was playing the empathy, and he wanted to meet me. And he came to my party, he gave me about 20 grand in cash, do said consider it a down payment up? on your time. He taught me so much in nine months. Walking away was hard, but it was when the Illuminati first started coming after him. And I'll never forget the day when they breached the house. And I left. Back in that moment, Kat was still wearing Kevlar to bed. To bed. I would get in bed with him at night, and he would have Kevlar on in bed. What was it about that and him at the moment where it made you want to speak your truth? He went after Comedy Central. That's what happened. The Flavor Flav roast. The moment that I knew the Snoop Dogg is sold out. That was a hurtful moment. I was always grateful to Snoop for taking Corrupt under his wing. Always been grateful to Snoop for that. Ricky, my brother. They wanted Cat to humiliate Flav. Like, humiliate him. Like, no holes barred. And send a bunch of good jokes. And I'll never forget watching Cat in the office downstairs at the house of Marina Del Rey. And he's sitting there looking at the script and just shaking his head. And then the next thing you know, the phone rang and I'm standing there in the office in the doorway and I'm like, why? And he picked up the phone and it was from Comedy Central. And I listened to him threaten to kill him. He said, you, I'm not doing this. You are not going to get a black man, a real black man, to agree to do this to another black man. It was a terrible day. And then that's when all the incidents started happening. Them sending people to the house them putting plants backstage at the shows. I mean, I was on tour with him for American Hustle. Right. I was on set for first Sunday. Right. He said he got arrested over 30 times. Yeah. No, no convictions. I'm getting close. <laughs> As you heard for yourself, Jaguar claims that this is when the Illuminati started coming after Cat Williams. I am 100% positive that Cat revealing too much in that comedy special and refusing to play along with the elite mm -hmm. is what cost him everything. That same year he did this special, we saw what clearly appeared to be the takedown of Cat Williams. Since the industry saw Cat as a possible problem for them, they started their takedown campaign on him. Cat would start dealing with many difficulties from then on, like constant legal troubles. He first got arrested just a few months after his special on November 13th, 2006. He was arrested at the Los Angeles International Airport for allegedly having a stolen weapon in his briefcase. This arrest started a string of arrests, but for some reason he would never be charged with anything. He would get arrested again two more times in 2009, also three more times in 2011, Cutter. with an additional five more Diminish arrests in 2012. Cat kept on getting arrested all the way up to his last arrest in 2016. He was arrested at least 20 different times, but some people say it was at least 30. Even though he got arrested, he was always released and never did any real time. On top of the constant arrest, the media began reporting that he was crazy in an attic, which yeah. was clearly done to end his career and silence him. Cat Williams joined the industry and when he saw what really went on, he spoke out against it. Since he didn't want to play along, they wouldn't give him any more big roles or mainstream support, and he became a target. In this interview, he talks about that very thing. Ex I just don't, I really don't understand how hard that is for people to believe. You know, a lot of people were saying he's lying and this and this, and I said, there's different level levels of celebrity. If you want to go to the next level or all, you know, to the top or whatever, you're going to have to do certain things. That's why you see is some people like they're actors, but they're not mega stars, you know, that that's how it is. So. Yeah. 
you know, think about think about like if you want to compare it like to to sports, you got the NBA, you got all stars, and then you got uh players who are in the Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? NFL, you got the Pro Bowlers, then you got people who are in the Hall of Fame. So there's different levels. And like I said, if you don't play their game, if you don't do what they ask consistently, yeah. Easy for me to understand that. Explaining how the industry shunned them for speaking out. It's the Illuminati. We are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. Mm. When people are against the Illuminati, the press hates them and nobody likes them. End quote. It's not... Uh, necessary for us to stir up that hornet's nest as we intend to get stung a million times. I didn't understand that. They had to sting me a million times. Right. I'm still not going to join, join, but I respect As you heard for yourself, Cat Williams didn't want to play along, so he was blackballed from the industry until he started acting right again. Cat saw exactly what went on at those Hollywood parties, and he didn't want anything to do with it. What happened to Cat Williams is the same thing that happens to all the other celebrities who fall out of line. It is the exact same blueprint the elite used to get rid of their celebrities. They first ruined the celebrity's reputation by having them arrested for substances or weapons. Then they start dragging the person's name all over the media, making them look bad, claiming that the person is an addict and that he lost it and that he shouldn't be allowed around kids. After this, the artist loses all respect from the world, and then not long after, the former celebrity is found gone in his home, their passing being blamed on substance abuse. Mm -hmm. All of these things happen to Cat Williams, well, except for the last one. But how come? If the industry is truly against Cat Williams, why haven't they taken him out yet? That's what they have done with every other person who has gotten out of line. What has kept Cat Williams alive all this time? Well, if you watch the Shannon Sharp interview, then you know Cat Williams already told us why they won't take him out. See, back when the industry started attacking Cat Williams, he started taking steps to protect himself. He found a way to guarantee those in the industry wouldn't take him out, as if they took him down, he was going to take them all down with him. This is exactly what he told us during a moment that seems to have gone unnoticed in the sea of other things Cat said during the interview. In the interview, Cat explains just what he did to protect himself. According to Cat, he spent the last 30 years collecting dirt and industry secrets on other people. He claims that he has been paying people money to give them information on people in the industry. Takes that the wrong way? Know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. Amen, amen. Gee. <laughs> Because the people want to know, well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because, because, because in 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, mm -hmm. knowledge, and your secrets. And your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. You tell it. Oh, somebody come to tell me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Um, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. They all know it. Why? Because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and they've done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. And they'll just go out and they'll lie. The industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at IMDb. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. How? As you heard for yourself, Cat Williams tells hey. us exactly how he's kept himself alive all these years. He has secrets about all of these celebrities. This way, if anything were to happen to him, someone on his team would release all those secrets to the world, bringing a lot of people down with him. Those in the industry don't want this to happen, as it would destroy so many careers. Cat Williams has been paying for industry secrets, secrets he is going to use to protect himself. While Cat Williams got on the industry's bad side and made himself a target, he was still able to survive the industry. One thing that I must say though, is that it's important to note, Cat Williams was definitely once a part of the industry and did play ball at one point. I believe Cat at one point. Again, and I believe that too. But like I said, it's levels. Once you, once you, they, they, even Jack Wright said, they'll, they'll come to your hotel room sometimes and bring you a tray of drugs. And depending on what you take off that tray, they will let you be like, oh, you're not invited next time or whatever. So I believe he, because you, in order to get in, you have to play their game. It's about staying in and elevating. And once, once they see that you're not going to do that anymore, your career going, you can either, it's either going to go like this or like this. The ones that, that play that game, I said, their careers go like this. 
mega stars. Point was okay with paying the price for fame. As Cat himself revealed, he was invited to an Illuminati party with Luda, where Luda was chosen to be in the Fast and the Furious franchise. No, um, so there was a crossroads where we both invited to an Illuminati thing, and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with points. And the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were going to pay him $10 million a movie to 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be Ludus, and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. Now, one person ended up with a light, nice, ugly face wife that's never done it. Remember, I told you that if I say that, it applied to seven people. Yes. It's part of what they give you. Okay? I didn't get it. I'm not mad about it. How much did they give? 200. Sir, Fast and Furious is on what number right 10? now? 200 million. I might get me one of the more women to look, look the same. That's what they all end up saying at the end of the day. Kevin told you he wasn't gonna wear no dress, so they offered him the dress and then he put it on. And what did he say after he wore it? I made my own decision. But you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? It's okay. As you heard for yourself, Cat admits he was invited by the Illuminati to these industry parties. The fact that the Freemasons even invited Cat lets you know he was once a part of it. They wouldn't have invited him if he wasn't down with the system. But it's obvious that he was kicked out of the club, and those in the club seem to have come to an agreement to leave Cat alone. While I myself personally don't trust no one in Hollywood, including Cat, I do believe that the industry wants to get rid of him. But the truth is, they simply can't. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. But before you guys go, I yeah, I get what he's saying. I get it. You know, in in order for you to to get famous, there is a price to pay, and there's more to pay to stay famous. Uh, I remember uh, listening to that song. It's an older song uh, with Ti. David Banner and Chris Brown. Uh, I believe it's T.I. Stunting is a habit. I believe. I remember David Banner said, this rap game is okay, but you should see these movie checks. Because uh, I remember David Banner was in a movie and, it, you know, of course, they're going to pay more for you to do acting than you would as a as a, a, a music artist. So yeah, I could see, you know, them presenting like here, here's the script, here's the thing, this is what you're gonna get paid. And then it's like, boom. So when he, you know, when him and talking about the whole ludicrous situation with the Fast and Furious, you know, they told him you had to do this, you had to do that. And Cat Williams was like, I'm good, but Luda took it, you know? So again, man, uh, the ones that speak out against all the craziness and the darkness is because they've seen it and they're, they they don't want to be in it no more. You know, the ones that are staying quiet. Um, I mean, how often do you see Jay-Z and Beyonce and all of them like talking? And you got to remember a lot of these people who be doing these interviews these the, the the backings of these interviews they're they're part of it too because you you never hear like the hard questions asked you know i i heard that uh what's his name jimmy kimmel even you know like his studio is in like a they said like in a masonic temple or, oh it used to be or something like that so you're not even you can't even ask certain questions you know so um was that jim carrey that was on there when he was like, oh, come on, you know what the, you know what this is. Yeah. So, yeah. Great video. Great video. Uh, a lot of stuff I knew, uh, but it's just good to see it broken down like this. Appreciate you guys coming over and watching, man. Peace out.